Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Culture Wave Media Network. It is I, Darian Scalamoni, and this is Liz Seiko. Hello, everybody. We're going to give you guys our non-spoiler thoughts and short review on Joker Folly Adieu. It is the sequel to the 2019 film uh, directed by Todd Phillips starring Joaquin Phoenix, just simply titled Joker. Uh, the original film was nominated for, I believe it was 11 Academy Awards. I think you're right. And it was a massive hit that year at the Oscars. Joaquin won. Uh, the Oscar for it, um, as well as the composer. Um, And there was a couple other, um, I think it won a couple other technical awards. But the major question with this movie coming into it was, why did this movie need to be made? Um, And it comes out five years after the first film. Um, So do you feel that after this, again, non-spoiler thoughts, do you feel that there was a justified reason after seeing this for it to be made and your just overall thoughts on Joker Folly Ado. Yeah. Okay. So I went into this very low expectations. I think as a lot of people did just based on how other reviews were coming out and just the overall expectations of the Joker world that Todd Phillips has built along with musicals uh, or musical numbers. Um, I don't think there was a purpose, unfortunately. I think this is a film that was made because the first film did incredible and got a lot of attention, whether positive or negative. And they wanted to monopolize on that. And then they wanted to bring in Lady Gaga because she is a huge force and a incredible talent. Um, and I mean, I don't want to say anything too negative about this film because surprisingly, I, I wouldn't say enjoyed it, but I was never bored. Um, They definitely have a lot going on. I think that they are making bold choices, which some films today aren't necessarily doing. I think a lot of films today are being put out with just cookie cutter um, artistic choices. And it feels like something that you've seen before. I can truly say this film is not anything that I necessarily have (laughs) seen before or may never see again. That's true. Yeah, I would say that that's true. That's kind of my first broad thoughts. Yeah, I How think, are you, what are yours? I suggest? I think so. I I agree with a lot of what you were saying. I unfortunately was bored during this movie <laughs> at times. I can't say that it was the whole time because there were sequences that I thought worked really well. Um, I do think that there were three different approaches throughout this movie that Todd Phillips wanted, and it created a mishmash of things that didn't work mm. wh- wholeheartedly together. Um, I think in terms of the performances, I think Joaquin brings it again. I think he's he's still tremendous in the role as Arthur Fleck. Yeah. Um, I unfortunately think that Gaga was severely underwritten in this movie. And I think that it pays dividends that she is a great singer. Because so much of what is good about her performance in this film is her singing ability. Mm-hmm. Um, the problem is that a lot of the musical sequences... Um, don't serve a purpose and it comes to a point during the film where it actually breaks up a lot of the tension when they're going in one direction. And I think that it was, uh, I'll say this in our, our big spoiler talk too. And I felt like it was three different films. It was one flew over the cuckoo's nest. It was, um, uh, a time to kill. And it was also a mixture of any musical number ever, like any musical you've ever seen. And I think that the musical elements, though a bold take Mm -hmm. and decision, it didn't work for me. And I think that it completely took me out of the movie. And the unfortunate thing, which we can't talk spoilers, but not only that for the for the um, tension breaking of the movie, but the ending of the movie also supremely undercuts the effects of the first movie to me. Like, I think that the decision to make this movie and make it the way that Todd Phillips did, it makes the first movie worse. And really? Yes, I, I disagree on that, okay. actually. Okay. Because I think that it highlights more of the, um, I don't know, darkness that happens in the first one uh, because of the lightness that they're trying to bring in with the music um, with the second one. And then I also think that it emphasizes more of the conversation around mental illness that the first one tried to have. And I don't know if they wrapped it up in a great way on the first one. Here, I feel like they're able to put a little bit more of 
uh, spin on it and perspective uh, surrounding like that conversation. Yeah. I think that there's weirdly a little bit more empathy for him and his world in this movie than there was in the first film. Like you said, maybe that lightness that kind of yeah. comes in through some of the musical sequences and even some of the like relationships that he has with some of the guards at Arkham and things like that. Um, but to me, tonally the movie's like all over the place and it stinks. Cause technically I think it works on a lot of levels. Mm-hmm. I think that the cinematography is, is great again. Um, though the score is good in this film. I don't think it's as strong as the first film. I don't know if it's the same composer that came back for this one. Um, were there any musical numbers that you did you enjoy any of them did you get any of them I think some of them I think some of them work I think some of them really don't work and I think that there is there's there's something that happens towards the end of the film and I don't want to give it away but there's something that happens in a line of dialogue at the end towards the end of the film that is uttered I know you're and I felt collectively Mm -hmm. that the whole audience was in agreement with the character that enough is enough and we need to stop singing. And I've never felt that in mm-hmm. a musical. And I think that part of it also is partly because it's not something you expect with this type of character and this type of story. It's not that it doesn't work. It's that it sometimes beats you over the head with it. And I think it it causes problems in, in the movie. See, I think that it's not so much um, the colliding of like genres or tone. I think it was just not executed to the extent that it should have been in order to make this a successful musical. Um, I think there are some numbers that are fully fleshed out and show, okay, why is this character singing this song? Because that's the whole point of musicals. Mm -hmm. This reason that characters start to sing in musicals is because they get to this feeling that words and uh, talking cannot express, so then they eventually have to go into singing, which I think, for me, there were three times in this film that I was fully on board and was like, I buy it. I also like the song choice. But then there were some that they just wanted to do beautiful musical numbers with incredible sets. Um, and they just really wanted Lady Gaga to like sing her mm-hmm. heart out, which I'm totally seated for. But it's hard to transition from this very real and gritty performance that they're both giving. And then all of a sudden you're in full show tunes like dinner theater mode Mm -hmm. where they're in complete different costumes and it's just hard to see that transition of why why they're making these uh very large jumps yeah and i think uh to to the point you just made there i'd have to rewatch the movie to count how many sequences i enjoyed but even if there are three sequences that i enjoyed there's at least double the amount that i didn't enjoy that are in the movie so it's it's like they like at least there's at least three that I don't like. And there's probably more than six total in the movie. And I think that, but I, I agree with what you're saying in terms of the execution. Um, and I think a lot of that goes back to the point that I just don't think this movie needed to be made. And I don't think anyone really wanted it to be made. Like, I think like you said, this was a studio decision from the first movie making over a billion dollars and Joker Folly do is the, end result that we get um so overall i'll give my score first and then you can give yours <laughs> hit me like Again, a for dj a spoiler definitely be sure to check out our spoiler review if you guys um have seen the movie want to hear our full thoughts but i'm going to give this movie a five out of ten i think that there are certain sequences that really really work i think again the acting is is really great i think i wouldn't even be surprised if joaquin got nominated again i don't think he's going to but i wouldn't be surprised um, because I think he's still great in the movie and I think there's a lot of really good supporting performances from Brendan Gleeson and Catherine Keener. Um, but overall, I think tonally the movie's kind of a mess and I really enjoyed the first movie so much. And I, like I asked you in the beginning of the non-spoiler review here, like, I don't think there was any reason for this movie to be made and they didn't give me a reason by the end of it to want this anymore. And this world that Todd Phillips and Joaquin have created. Okay. So that's my score. Um, I'm, as you can probably guess, a little bit higher. I'm going to give this a six because um, as much as it's tonally all over the place, I think if they had just taken out about four musical numbers, people wouldn't hate it as much. 
Um, I also think that if they had fleshed out Harley Quinn's character and her involvement in the story, it would have fit um, a lot of the elements more. I don't think they use Lady Gaga to her full extent acting wise. I think that they put way too much singing on her plate and just wanted her to kind of do what she does best. But they lacked um, her in the script. And so I think if those two elements had been beefed up a little bit more, it wouldn't the audience wouldn't be hating hating as much so a six because i didn't think it was technically bad either i think technically everything the music they're incredible singers um the cinematography is great i think uh again joaquin gorgeous work as an actor he really just embodies arthur to his full fullest extent so i can't hate totally on this film yeah i get it well let us know in the comments what you guys thought about joker folly you do uh, it's not completely divisive, but there are people that are fans of the movie. There are people that are obviously hating all over the movie, but we have a larger spoiler conversation for you guys as well. So be sure to check that out. If it's not already on the channel, it's coming for you guys and be sure to follow us on social media. All that stuff is below us right now. And in the description, just signing off. I am Darian Scalamoni. I am Liz Seiko. And we'll see you guys next time. This is the culture.